The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here. These people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. So now we reduced our hopes from a city to a statue. But just imagine it's like they were about to give up and the statue's right around the corner. Uh, anything else in this room? You. Kind of wish these were urns so I can just disrespect the dead. Excuse me, sir. Let me just take your glass real quick. Is he embedded in the rock? Okay, he died horribly. Also, you'd think cut logs would leave a straight line and not these... Jack, whatever. I'm questioning too much already. Sully, are you okay? Sounds like you broke your leg on that impact. Pretty. Also more dead people. How many people died for here? Huh. They stop here. Yeah, it looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Yeah. Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Well, now what? I guess we just start climbing shit. Unless I find another treasure on the ground. What is that? That's just moss. I thought it was like a turtle. Okay. I guess I found a treasure up here. Speaking about turtles... <laughs> Okay. All right, well, let's just keep walking through the jungle, Sully. Wait, Sully, do you hear that? Now there's something you don't see every day. My God. A waterfall. <laughs> well, when you see something suspicious, go towards it. to come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. <laughs> Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> right, I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. What is the easy way, by the way? Also, these chapters are really short, or maybe it's just because it's the early game. Later games, these chapters will take forever by comparison. Am I supposed to swim? 
Or was I supposed to go around the boat that end? Well, there's definitely something over here. Looks like you're gonna have to monkey across those cliffs to get into the U-boat. All right, thanks, Sully. This must be one strong-ass vine. One thing I find funny about grabbable ledges in later games is that they're covered in, at least in the fourth game, there's um, a lot of white on them. I know it's supposed to be like rock erosion or rocks drying out and just leaving this white appearance, but it looks like bird crap. It looks like they're just covered in bird crap and that's the only ledge you can grab. Also, why was it so hard to get up, uh, get up on that ledge? Come on! There we go. I don't know why that was so finicky. Okay, that little, I guess, whistle or flute sounded like the Amber Alert siren. Oh, I saw something. I saw. Can I climb up this? I can. Give me my treasure. I need to sell it at pawn shops. Gold Ty Tyrona. It's the female version of Tyrone. We have Tyrone and Tyrona. <laughs> I did not mean to jump off. I was trying to grab the vine. <laughs> I've already died way more times than I expected so far. All right, back up here. I can use this ledge to... Huh, I didn't need to climb up the vine. Could have just done this. Hey, watch yourself up there. It's a long way down. Sully, I found that out the hard way already. So, uh, at least thank you for the warning. You're considerate. Shouldn't put you down for that, honestly. I can at least put myself down. It's a lot of rocks here. Very easy to fall. Okay, thank you for... <laughs> I'm gonna actually thank the game there. Because I have not been using circle to drop down at all. Oh, we're almost at the boat. Okay, so, so you automatically can't grab the ledges, but it's just also a bit iffy. Where am I supposed to drop? Oh, over here. Okay. You should be able to drop right down into the U-boat from there. Thank you, Sully. Can I see? Oh, he's over. Hey, Sully. I'm gonna go find some hey. antique German soldiers. Oh, that's funny. Don't know if I'm allowed to say the same word he said, but I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, can I go to the front of the boat? I know you're supposed to go inside, but I think... There... I see it! I see the sparkles! Imagine if I just tipped the boat over. Gold and turquoise Inca earring. So do they, they just shove this whole peg through their ear? 
They, they don't have the back piece back then. I gotta do it. <laughs> that water was ankle deep. <laughs> Is the treasure gone? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, let's go inside the boat. I'm on a boat. Okay, I'm in. What do you see? Something nasty happened to these guys. There's blood everywhere. And soup. What? It's the soup he's worried about. I mean, can you get tetanus just from just handling rust and not washing your hands, for example? Or just being around rust for a long period of time? Because I always thought tetanus was it somehow got in your blood. Like, you get cut by a rusty blade. Oh, going down even more. Well, somebody fell asleep on the job. This my decomposing friend. Okay, say this whole. I think the trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. I will say, like, uh, what if this whole mission was a bust? We never found the statue or the city, and all we found were those coins. Uh, how, how much money would you get off those coins? Presumably, still a lot, even though when you're anticipating at the very least an, a giant gold statue, you may be disappointed by the difference. Something shot the... Whatever these are. These tanks. Okay, now this water may be more concerning than that temple water, because... Worst thing that temple water has is algae. This most definitely has rust in it. Cozy. Captain's quarters. Get this. He's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. <laughs> You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not going to believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's going to lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've got to get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan?
Eh, he must have taken a nap. Nothing bad is about to happen, right? Also, if you found a dead person, long dead, a missing person, or I don't know, you would still check their wallet, right? At the very least, to identify them. Maybe take the money, I don't know. That's probably bad. Nah, that's fine. There we go. Hello. Hey, hey. Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. <laughs> Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Uh, easy. Put your hands up. All right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <clears throat> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So? We square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? <laughs> That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with... Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! Well, they killed Sully, so I have to join. <laughs> I that, that was not intentional. I was rubbing my face. Run! <laughs> okay, somebody was gonna intercept me. Let me run. <laughs> I gotta stop jumping off that ledge. Okay, let's do it slow and steady. Oh my god, why why is this so difficult? <laughs> okay. Nate, stop rolling! It's the roll that gets me. Okay. What do I hide here? Nope, they can still hit me. <laughs> Okay, go, 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 Serpentine! Serpentine! Okay, also, anybody see the guy on top of the U-Bolt that probably just burned to death horribly? <laughs> yeah, Sully, Sully got shot, so we're on our own now. Whoa there, cowboy. Ugh. That's for leaving me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. Shh. He went this way. I'm ready to head. <sighs> well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. I 
Come on. I mean, how'd you get a gun if you've never uh, held one in your life before? I mean, it seemed like she never held one in her life before. Oh, oh. Please tell me I can do a sneak attack. Oh, come on! I was waiting for it to give me a prompt or something. Probably shouldn't have shot! Now, one thing I heard about, I think it's just a theory. I don't know if it's confirmed, but yeah, the the way how this game handles mm -hmm. that trope of the heroes getting shot several times whenever taking any lethal injuries is that this is that is Nathan Drake's luck running out. That's what I heard. Because one bullet will do him in, or one to two bullets will do him in as any normal person. So he's just running out of luck, which makes sense. Getting shot at. I thought that was You're like a game's you hint. Too, you know. Oh, <laughs> excuse me? Nah. Okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Did I shoot you in the crotch? It threw a lot of flares down for a well-lit area, honestly. Elena, where did you go? I thought you... Okay, I like how the gun pretty much did a kickflip midair. Scratching my head. Now I can destroy them faster, even though I... Th that took more bullets. Oh, good thing none of you have snipers. Come on, Elena. Move it. Stay close. How is there only one guy? Okay, good. Oh! Oh, good thing you can pick yourself up like that. I feel like there's gotta be a, a hidden treasure behind one of these fallen statues, right? What the hell is this place anyway? Ah. Long story. Tell you later. Oh, that's how you reload. Oh. Well. Okay, yeah, that is how you reload. Guess we're no longer going back down there. Thank you, Elena. How did my ass taste? I see you. Oh! Hold on, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. I think I'm more, let's be more precise. Were you shooting at the stairs? It's probably go. I can't change shoulders. You can't change shoulders, it's with L3. I wonder if the game tells you that. Because changing shoulders in games, I, it, I absolutely love it. Well, I mean, it's only really effective in third person games, but I absolutely love it because I love third person shooters. The 
If a shooter has the option to go in third person, I will. Never a dull moment, huh? Just keep your head down. These guys aren't messing around. Elena, this will probably be the most excitement you'll ever get in your life. Honestly, that may be a bit rude because she is a, a either a reporter or a journalist, so they're probably she's probably seen some a lot of interesting stuff. But I don't think she's been at risk of death yet, has she? Somebody tell me the lore about Elena's history as a reporter or journalist. Take your sweet ass time, girl. Did only one of you have an AK? That's a lie. There's like several people. They're just all dead. And remember, it doesn't matter how many people we kill. We're the good guys. Oh, I have to get the vase first. There. Headshot. Nah, I want to do it the cool way. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> He died almost as he just had the realization, you know. I learned a guy! Oh my I learned to do something! I'm trying to change shoulders, I just forgot the button. Oh my god. You know what? Yeah, there right. We're fist fighting it. Okay, not fist fighting it, but still. Seriously, what's up with the excess excessive use of flares? I have no AR bullets. Come on, stay with me. I just realized the the uh, I guess this selector right here is in the shape of the PlayStation's D-pad. I never noticed that. Don't let him get past. I will get past. Come here, sir. I will gently jog at you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was like that drop kick had no build up. I need to get behind cover. I like that. <laughs> I was about to just fire at her. Okay, the camouflage body armor does work. Okay, you know what? Hello. Did I just nut shot this man? Over here, I think. Yeah, this way. Hold on. I know we have to escape, but let me look for more ammo. Oh. Whatever. Let's go, Elena. Ooh, a Jeep. That's right. 